Hello everyone and welcome to this series of tutorials. Um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to work with Python language. The dynamic of this tutorial is to go through some examples of Python that I've already made for you guys so I don't have to waste time writing code at the same time I'm trying to explain. Uh, that will save us some time. In this first tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the basics of what is Python and we're going to finish off with our first Hello World. For our examples, we are going to be using PyScriptor IDE. Uh, if you feel comfortable with any other IDE, that's perfectly fine. Uh, however, I do recommend PyScriptor just because, uh, as you guys are going to see later on, it has a lot more tools that are going to be useful as, uh, as we walk you know, through the next tutorials that I'm going to be posting up. Alright, let's get started. Uh, these are some of the characteristics of Python, at least uh, one of the most important ones. Uh, first of all, Python is an interpreted language, meaning that when we execute a program, there is no need to previously compile in a program into machine language instructions, as, as in Java or C Sharp, we have to go through this compiling process where the code is broken down into bytecode so the machine can actually execute the program. Now, Python skips this process and, and that makes it in, an interpreted language that, you know, it does not have to go through this um, compiling process. Uh, Python is a high-level programming language, uh, so we work using a set of libraries already made for us. This makes the process of developing easier and more understandable. Now, on the other hand, when working with low-level languages, we would be dealing with registers, memory addresses, and call stacks, as in Python, since it's a high-level language, we are usually working with variables, classes, um, methods, you know, etc., etc. Python is an object-oriented language, meaning that we can instantiate an object of the class, and we're, we're going to work with this concept a lot. So just know that Python is an object-oriented language, as um, you know many others. Now, one of the neat things about Python is that it's duct typing. Now, um, duct typing means that you do not have to uh, specify the data type that is being used in a variable. For example, if you're trying to use a string variable, you actually only have to you know, type the name of the variable. The, com the uh, interpreter, when it, when it runs in, in runtime, automatically knows how are you going to be using that variable if you're going to be using it as an int, string, uh, you name it. So uh, the neat thing is that you do not have to specify the data type, at least explicitly. Uh, Python is a strongly typed language and this means that uh, data types are treated different and you cannot, for example, add a string into an integer. For this to happen, uh, you have to do some type of parsing to, uh, to the integer and convert it as a string so you can add both strings together, not a string and an integer. Uh, now another characteristic is indentation. Indentation is very important and actually helps a lot with the readability of the code. Uh, when you declare a class or, not, or, uh, or a method, instead of using uh, instead of using brackets to to separate the code or you know so you can know what's inside your method, the only thing you have to do is to indent the code, and that would you know distinguish what's inside the code, and that's gonna uh, differentiate the different methods that you have throughout your file. Now, last but not least. Uh, Python is a cross-platform, meaning that you can use Python in different operating systems as you could be using it in a uh, Linux distribution, um, Macintosh OS, or uh, Windows. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started with our example. Now, this is our example right here. To create, uh, well, this is the IDE, first of all, this is PyScriptor. As we can see, we have the menu up here and our different tools and uh, bars throughout here. Uh, we're going to be using them as we go on with the tutorials later on. So um, just, just bear with me. Now, when we create a new module, we go to File, New, New Python Module. Python already writes some code for us. So this is what, when you create a uh, uh, file, at least PyScriptor uh, does this for us. You know, it gives us 
in, you know, at the top, some uh, commenting lines, and it includes the name, purpose, you know, the author, and all these different uh, fields that it already fills out for you, at least some of them. You can, of course, modify them uh, or just erase them. It doesn't matter. Now, um, it also puts down this couple lines of code. And this statement here is very important. This if. Now, this if, what it actually does, it just basically defines that, you know, when the, the file starts executing, it just tells it that always starts with the main always is gonna you know start with the main so basically this variable name it's always gonna be true because it's always gonna equals this uh, string and it's already defined inside the code it's you know you don't have to worry about it it's, it's just always gonna be true just know that it's always gonna be true so uh, the main function is always gonna execute first alright so we're gonna go back to the example that I already had there it is so in this I just the only thing that I put in is this print hello world. Now we're gonna execute this code. To execute it, we're gonna hit this green little arrow right here. It says run. And uh, don't pay attention to this. This is something that I was doing earlier. Uh, it just starts from here. So this is the output hello world. We see that it prints out a hello world for us. There you go. There you have it. Uh, now. As we can see, the indentation that I was, you know, talking about for this function main to be able to recognize this line as part of it, it has to be indented. Now, if we hit backspace, we see that we we get an error. If we hover through it, notice that it has a uh, a message saying that syntax error expected expected an indented block. So, meaning that you know it's not indented. Now, if we hit the tap now the error goes away or we can actually use one of the buttons up here it says indent block hit it and it indents it for us so uh, this is our first example very very simple as I say um, as we go on through the tutorials uh, it's gonna, gonna, gonna get more complex of course uh, we're gonna be working with XML files and some more complex operations. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to be working with strings, uh, methods, and the different operations that we can use with uh, strings in Python. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and drop them out in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching.